Hey guys, it's Irene Unsense, and I'm trying to pack my stuff for my dorm, like my clothes. And I feel like I'm packing way too much stuff. Oh, by the way, it's like two days before I move in. I think that's late packing. I'm honestly gonna probably finish this tomorrow night at like 12 pit midnight. I mean, it is 1.42 now, so the chances of that are really likely. So I'm just gonna show you guys all the stuff I'm bringing, because I feel like I'm bringing way too much and we'll have to find out once I get to the dorm or if it even fits in my suitcase I might need to use my duffel bag to carry some stuff my gosh I have way too much stuff on the ground I just like tripped on my tennis ball and bags and just like yeah my tennis racket is in here it's not supposed to be and I'm talking kind of quietly because people are sleeping <laughs> um so in this file I have like some sweatshirts I'm probably going to add my pink sweatshirt to this because I want to have a zip up. These are like all the different kinds I'm going to wear. I feel like I have way too many, but honestly, I'll wear them eventually. So I also have like my pants, some tops, um, my jeans. The good thing is that I counted these out and I, I know I have enough hangers to hang all these. Because the jeans and pants are probably going to just go in my drawer. And I have my rompers. Yeah, those are going to go on the hanger or in the drawer depending on how many, um, how many hangers I have. But I have like, I have like 35 hangers. Um, hopefully they fit in my closet. I'm not really sure because, um, uh, my room's kind of the smaller of the dorm rooms, so everything's like compact. So hopefully it fits. I have my socks in here. I know I have enough socks because I just need one for every day, honestly. Um, my pajamas. Yeah, those are all pajamas. I'm not sure. Do people usually pack like these many pajamas? It's just like two shirts and three pants and um, the shoes. And this is probably all the shoes I'm going to bring. There's like one more pair that I left downstairs I'm going to get later. But um, yeah, this is pretty much all the shoes I'm bringing. And then up we have t-shirts. I have like, um, I have like, <laughs> I keep spacing out. I have like eight t-shirts here. I feel like that's a lot, but um. If you've ever seen how many t-shirts I actually own, let me just show you. This, this whole drawer, yeah, I have my um, bras up there, you don't need to really see that. Um, this whole drawer is t-shirts. So yeah, just like all of this, t-shirts. Like years of t-shirts that I just don't throw away because I never wore them, so they're not like ripped or anything, so I just keep them. And then I have even more in this basket by my door. It's overflowing. I tried really hard to make it fit, but like I have way too many t-shirts. So yeah, I think that getting it down to just like eight t-shirts was like a really big goal for me. Cause I have like 75, honestly. I have never counted them. I don't feel like digging them out to count them all cause there's so many. Anyway, back to this. I have my shorts here. Shorts that I actually wear. I try to like pick things that I know I'll totally put on at some point. Then I have leggings. I have like four, I think. And then sweatpants. I only have one pair of sweatpants because all my other pairs are like completely destroyed. Like some of them have bleach stains or they have paint stains or they have rips, or like, they don't fit me anymore, but I wear them anyway. Or some of them just don't look good. So I only, like, am taking one pair of sweatpants. I think I'll be fine. I'll just wear other pants. I have a bunch of clothes, so it'll work out. Okay, hey, it's like two minutes later, I read nonsense, and um, I'm just realizing I didn't pack any bathing suits. I'm not sure when exactly I would need to wear a bathing suit, but I mean, we are like... 30 minutes from the beach and you never know so I'm just gonna get those out make sure I don't forget to pack those I totally won't forget a towel though so I'll just leave it there and um hopefully I won't be updating you guys that I forgot to bring my towel 
Okay, I'm starting to realize it may have been a bad idea to start this because now I have a giant mountain of clothes on my bed and I can't put them away because I need to make sure it's mom approved before I put it in the box. Um, so I think I'm just going to put everything on top of my suitcase and then... I can just lay down comfortably. Hopefully it doesn't topple as I'm trying to remove it because it is <laughs> for some reason. I decided to put it right on the edge of my bed. Um, so yeah, let's, let's do that now and hopefully nothing bad happens. Ooh, by the way, I got this new tripod. Oh my gosh, my room is a mess. I'll clean that soon. Anyway, I got this tripod on Amazon because, you know, nobody goes to the stores anymore. So I'm going to just put my camera on the tripod so you guys can see me struggle to get this giant amount of clothes onto that box. Because it's going to be a journey. Like, it's so hard. I think I'm going to try to go to sleep because it's like 2 a.m. and I need to get used to like waking up on school time because a uh, school yeah school time I guess because I'm going to be living in a dorm and I'm a heavy sleeper and I need to actually hear my alarm so my roommate doesn't constantly get annoyed with me for not turning off my alarm and I'm going to Six Flags tomorrow, so I need to wake up early for that. Also get some other stuff from my dorm from Dollar Floor because apparently I need like 10 things that I thought I had or didn't need. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to go to sleep, but probably just watch YouTube for another hour with the lights off. And um... See you guys in the morning when I'm getting ready for six flags and that that's probably not gonna work because I'm gonna forget to do this in the exact same position. Anyway, but yay it worked. Uh, and also update, I went to sleep at like 3:30, not that late considering I went to sleep at like five or 5:30 the day before. I'm not even sure this nap was in the right hand, but it's fine because we're, I'm ready to go to Six Flags and it's like 1030 and it took me like an hour to wake up, but it's fine because I've showered and I'm ready to go after we get our cups and get in the car and drive an hour. So that's going to be fun. It's time to go and no one else is ready, so I'm just waiting in the car. Probably going to try and finish this book I was supposed to finish before school starts. I'm like halfway in. I can totally finish it before class, so I still I still have like a week before classes actually begin, so I think I'll be fine. So how about this weather we're having? It's drizzling and there's roller coaster. Okay guys, I'm home and I have successfully put most of my clothes into the container. I got all the stuff that was here and all the stuff that was on top of the suitcase. I have my shoes in here, but I still have to put in my bras and tank tops. I don't think that's going to be too difficult, even though this looks pretty full right now. I can probably just put them in with my socks and squeeze the rest in. And I brought in iron, so if anything's really wrinkled, which will probably be everything, I can just iron it. And I'll just find a place to put my sweatshirts, because I have like, you know, five, you know, as I told you yesterday. And, um, we'll see how this works in the end. Okay, <laughs> update. I, I got everything into the box except for the tank, the tank, the bras. Okay, so... I really had to squish everything down to get the, the, um, there's a strap that goes over it to, like, actually 
work. But it 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 it, it um happened eventually. So I finally got it standing and it's very heavy. But not that heavy. I can totally carry it up the stairs. And um I just decided to give up on trying to fit my bras in here. So I'm just gonna put it in my duffel bag, which I guess is a good idea because then it will destroy every single bra I have. And I'm going to go do that now. Okay. I finished completely packing up. I have all my stuff packed up and um, yeah, that's what I just said. Anyway, I have like six bags. I don't really know how I'm going to fit this in one car. We might need to take two. And um, it's two o'clock right now. I'm going to finally go to sleep because we start moving at ten. So I'm probably going to wake up at like eight or seven because I need to shower and I'm going to go to sleep because I think I'm kind of adjusting my sleep schedule I'm getting tired now at like two o'clock instead of five so see you guys tomorrow bye moving I'm here my roommate isn't here I'm pretty sure she's moving in on Saturday with the rest of my housing but um I'm mostly finished I'll give you guys like an official tour soon because I need to put all this stuff where it's actually going to be because I'm not going to have a bed if I don't move anything <laughs> guys I'm officially done putting everything where they're supposed to go in my room so I'm going to show you what I did um there's nothing here because this is my roommate's side of the bed and she's not here yet so um here I have my desk which is right by the window I think I'm gonna like that but not all the time because I'm just gonna be blinded by the sun probably but you know, I'll get used to it and I have my moog which is cool because it's from the Motor Museum in Philadelphia. You should really go there if you're interested in like the human body because they have a lot of stuff in there. And I have this lamp that I, I just really like it because it has three different like it's dimmable so you can make it brighter or less bright. And it has a night mode so it gets rid of the blue light. Because you know how blue light isn't good before you go to sleep, and that's why you shouldn't be on your phone. But I'm always on my phone until I fall asleep. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. And I have my laptop that I still haven't turned on. I'm just charging it because I have this cool thing that I got from the school. Some stickers. I have this Stockton one and this Stockton one, and that's my phone going off. These are two rocks I made at an honors thing. I just thought they were cool, so I took them to my room. I have this thing that I made for a club I had at school, and the Avengers Endgame poster. Then I have my two stuffed animals. They're siblings, actually, even though one's a shark and one's a dolphin. This is Aiden, and this is Nathan. Aiden actually has an Instagram. I'll put that right here. Um, this is my bed sheet. It's really wrinkled because I didn't wash it or anything. Probably a mistake. Oh, I'll wash it eventually though. Laundry is for here, so. And I have my wall of pictures. I'll probably bring more because this kind of looks sad. I have a whole bunch of stuff up here. Like cleaning supplies. My books are actually up there. On the door I have my sweatshirt. I'm just like reserving that hook for now because it doesn't really matter. It's not that hard to move a sweatshirt. I have my laundry basket which I'm probably going to have to move because it's in the way of the door. But I mean, I've opened it and I don't think it's going to be a problem so maybe I can just leave it there. And I have my clothes and my towel and then my shower stuff. There's really nothing in there because I feel like I don't want to pack it full of stuff and then break the handle. I have my school bag, my littler bag, purse thing, whatever. Um, some more kitchen stuff. Cards Against Humanity, because isn't it fun to play games? <laughs> um, yeah, this is just more random bath, kitchen, 
food is in there in case you decide to come in my room and steal my food for some reason. So um, I think that's pretty much all you guys need to see. Um, this has been my amazing side of the bed. I hope you guys like this, and if you do, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe, leave a comment of what you want to see on my channel, and maybe tell your friends and share this video on social media. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!